For pretty much all reactions predicted by the system, we can drill down on this mechanism link. I'm going to skip to the solution part for now, and what this shows us here is not only the overall reaction predicted by the system, but also a complete curved arrow mechanism diagram to show not only what the product of the reaction was, but to also explain how the reaction proceeded, including this step here, a hydride shift, carbocation rearrangement, it's the reason we got that unexpected product. But you know what would be even better than just showing someone what the mechanism is? It's to have them interactively work through an example themselves, which we can do with this Mechanism Explorer interface. Again, here's the overall reaction predicted by the system, but this time the system wants you, as a student, to complete the mechanism diagram, which we can do with this Sketcher interface. So let's see, I think the first step of this mechanism is the electrons from this double bond getting protonated by the HBr. So I'll go ahead and submit that for analysis. Here's the drawing I just submitted, and actually it's wrong. But again, note that just like with the synthesis problems, the system did not just say wrong, start over. It gives me much more specific and useful feedback than that in the form of an actual chemical structure. It says that if I drew these arrows, and the electrons actually did follow them, that would entail an intermediate product which looks like this. And hopefully I can look at this and realize, wait a second, we've got a hydrogen with a negative charge on it, two things bonded to it, clearly that's a mistake. But that's information we can use when we go back to the drawing board to try and figure out what I did wrong. Here's the drawing I submitted first, and now I can look at that and realize, whoops, I forgot, the electrons from this HBr bond need to go away. Resubmit that. Here's a drawing I just resubmitted, and this time it is correct, it matches what the system expected, and the predicted intermediate products look good. And you may note what I consider to be a convenient feature is that at no time do we ever have to deal with the tedious task of structure drawing. Since the system always has the next step just set up and waiting for us, we can focus strictly on the actual problem solving of the mechanism, which is all about where do we draw these arrows.